Welcome to the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Seas. We're going to take a little tour of cabin number 9642, which is the ninth deck on a junior outside suite. If you give it just a second to adjust to the backlight there, it will get better. Coming in, we have just a beautiful stateroom. We've been so happy with it. Uh, very spacious, wider, deeper, everything. So nice. Um, just a great place. So if you take a look here, you've got the bed that's set up in a king size configuration. Overview, you've got the sitting area over there that does have this curtain that can divide the room in half if you have any reason to do that. In case someone gets kicked to the couch in the night, just saying. Then you've got um, deck outside. We'll take a look at more in a second. Really nice uh, dressing area, cabinets, a fantastic walk-in closet, back around to the door, the bathroom on the right, full-length mirror, and here we go. Let's take a little more in-depth look. The bed here, you have little uh, shelves on each side of the bed, which is nice, including individual reading lights that just turn on with the switch. And you do have a dimmer switch for the lights, which you can see will dim them appropriately as you would like. Um, it's kind of a nice idea to bring like a little flashlight if you want, or even a travel clock so you have some idea in the night what time it is. Uh, again, you've got this nice sitting area over here, very roomy. And heading back over this way, but let's take a look outside onto the deck. The deck is definitely oversized because most decks just have the, the two chairs and the little table. This one not only has that, but two full-size chase lounges, which is so nice for sitting and watching the ocean go by. Um, one thing that we recommend is bringing your own kind of a cord, a, a laundry line, and clothespins is very helpful to be able to dry your stuff. It dries a lot better outside, we have found, than in the little line on the shower, um, and it keeps it out of your bathtub. So if you look, take a look, you can see how we're jutted out here. These suites are jutted out deeper than the rest of the cabins. On each side, you can see those go back in. And holy smoke, it's an amazing ship. So let's go back inside, finish taking a look around inside. View from coming back in, you can see it's incredibly spacious. You've got the mini fridge down here. You've got tons of drawers. You've got amazingly nifty little hidden mirror shelf things that we didn't even use that one. A dressing area. You've got another one of these that I just put jewelry in because I didn't even need to use all the space I had with all those drawers down there. You've got a full bank of shelves here, including the safe that you can program. They did include a blow dryer, but we used, I brought my own. Um, we'll talk about the cords in a second. Best part is this amazing walk-in closet that is fantastic. Take a look at that. It's just, <laughs> by cruise standards, it is huge. They do give you two Royal Caribbean bathrobes to use during your stay and a fair number of hangers, which are the brown wooden ones. However, I did bring a bunch of my own um, just to be safe and we did end up using some of them. You've got all these shelves over here. And it is just amazing. So no complaints, no complaints about the closet. Now your bathroom you have, is it's also really nice size for a cruise bathroom. Um, you've got a full size tub. I mean, I'd call it full size. It's really deep. It's great for a nice hot bath and the water pressure is amazing. It's a really great shower, surprisingly. It does have the built-in shampoo dispenser, and then beyond that, they give you, um, you know, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion. That's just included in your room. You have a little bit of shelves down there, a little storage cabinet with a garbage can, and a bank of 
skinny little shelves that don't hold much there. One idea, we always bring this over the door shoe hanger, which you use typically in little apartments for holding your shoes or your house, whatever you've got. Uh, but it does give you the ability to store a lot more stuff in the bathroom, and they're about $5 at Walmart anytime. And the one last thing I would recommend is about your plugs. We find that there's never enough plugs. In the bathroom, there's only one plug up above the, uh, above the mirror. Here you have two 120 volt plugs and then a 230 and there's a little light switch for the for the mirrors here and what I always do is bring a power strip because I've got walkie talkies and a laptop and a blow dryer and, and a flat iron and I've got um, camera cords and a cell phone and Whatever else, I just never have enough room. So I would recommend that you bring your own power strip. And basically, that is it. The other nice thing I love to bring is a fan to uh, give me some white noise in the night. I also like air moving. I don't sleep well without some air moving. So that's been really handy. Um, I think that is basically it. So hope that if you ever have a junior suite on Royal Caribbean's Oasis, you will absolutely enjoy it. And for now, bon